Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, consider to subscribe and uh, join the family. We are very close to our 100 subscribers and I do have a giveaway. When that's going to happen, I'm going to link the video with the giveaway down below. But who is ready? Who is ready for a full face today? Because I... <laughs> I've been on a no buy for a while. I haven't bought anything and then lo and behold, it got stimulated by the government <laughs> and uh, I went uh, shopping at Target. Yay! Uh, so let me show you what I got and we're going to play with these items. I'm going to put in my face. Some things are very new to me. Never tried them before. Some are things that I've tried them before. Let's look into what I got. So here it is. Let's see. Uh, I got a super stay full coverage uh foundation 24 hours foundation in sun beige 310 right here i never tried this foundation and i heard so many good things about it i was like why have I never tried that let me let me put my hands on it and let's see how it goes so we'll try this today next i got a diamond powdered medium deep from Winky Lux. Again, never tried this brand before. I just recently saw it at Target and I was like, what? That's a new thing. I want to try something from them. And here they are. So I decided to go with the powder. Next, I got a product that really intrigued me. I mean, I never seen this before. I don't think anybody talked about this before. Um, this is an L4 toner balm with green tea and witch hazel. I, what, um, I never seen a toner in this shape. So I was like, uh, okay, I do need a toner. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try and see what this thing does. And we're going to apply it today on my skin. So, and then I went, oh, with the Winky Lux Mermaid Kitten Palette right here this is such a cute palette i wanted to see how it's going to perform it has some really beautiful colors in there and uh, we're going to play with this one as well okay, so the last three things in here are these so i got a micro ink pen by brow stylist from laurel paris right here and this is in brunette and then i got two um things here i got nyx professional makeup slide on glide on stay on and definitely turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner and is in white and then i got a uh, professional makeup i think eyeshadow base in white leave it on me to always destroy packaging but all the toner Stick so purifies the pores and instantly tones the complexion with a cool refreshing application. Use this convenient toning balm in place of your liquid toner and cotton pads. This unique stick formula glides over the skin, delivering an immediate close of lightweight hydration that won't clog pores, won't clog your pores. Enrich with clarifying green tea and witch hazel. That's how it looks like. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it feels re wow. it feels refreshing. It feels really good and it feels really refreshing on the skin. I don't know. I feel like there's some things in here that I feel like I need to kind of push them around with my fingers. There we go. But other than that, it feels really good on the skin. I don't know if you guys tried this before, but it says it's full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade, fade and transfer resistant. Ooh, I like that. Uh, don't clog pores, dermatologist tested. Interesting. Okay, mm, let's see how it's going to apply on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna get a sponge. I think this is a real technique sponge. Yeah, it is. So this one is very easy to 
maneuver on your skin. I mean, um, usually full coverage foundation, it's a little harder to push it around your face. I mean, to like, you know, apply it all over your face and make sure you don't have any streaks that make sure it doesn't look cakey and things like that. But this one, no, like, look at this side. It looks so good. Like, it doesn't look cakey at all. It doesn't look like you have foundation. But it just, everything, it looks, everything covered up. And it looks the same color everywhere. I would say maybe it's, it's uh, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe it's a little too matte for me. It is a little too matte for me. But I do like the coverage of it, and I do like that it was no fuss, no mess, no fuss type of foundation. And it looks really good. It's like you don't see all that situation right there. You don't see anything on my face. Really full coverage foundation, and it looks like so, like your skin. You know what I mean? It's like full coverage, but it doesn't look cakey. That's a good thing. Well, now let's set this with the Winky. The Winky lacks diamond powder. Yes, diamonds. Diamonds are my life. Diamonds. If you don't know, um, the first time for April is diamond. Hi. <laughs> so it's my first time. <laughs> uh, we got my birthday is in two days. I think when I'm gonna post this, it might be right on that day or the day before. My, babe, my birthday is on the 24th of April. Yay! This is how it looks like and this is in medium deep. There are not that many colors. I was looking there like, what, I think like six colors in total? It says the powder foundation contains genuinely crushed diamonds to uh, optically diffuse the appearance of imperfections. Really? Hmm. Lightweight finish, buildable coverage, natural looking, and shine free glow. Okay. So this, uh, this is a cruelty free brand. Yay. Let's, I'm gonna use their little thing right here. I'm just gonna try to pat it. I like the color too. So, so far, so good. We have some good products right here. I am really glad this works for me and I'm glad that color works for me as well. I like the way it looks. I mean, it does, it looks a lot better, I believe, in person than on the screen. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks like here's your natural skin, but perfection. Like perfection. And oh, I know my skin is not perfect. Trust me, I know that. Um, so just kind of like sing it like this. It looks so good. I love it. I love it. Let's go first and play with this because I want to do my eyebrows before. So this is Micro Ink Pen by Brow Stylist Hair Like That Tint Effect. Up to 40 or 8 hours. Ooh, that's a lot of promises. Okay, so it says get precise, define natural looking brows with our micro ink pen by Brow Stylist. This long wear ink pen precis bleh, precis pre precisely tints brows with its cum tip applicator for natural looking hair lacking effect. And it says it's waterproof, no color fade, no smudge, no transfer. Ophthalmologist tested. Ooh. So it works for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearer. Yes, I do wear contact. And I do have sensitive eyes. And it says how to apply. Start with clean brushed Brows place cum tip applicator to anchor of your brow brush upwards and outwards to the tail for desired results. Okay. So this one is in brunette. That's how it looks like. Right there, let's see the applicator. 
right there. No. I'm not doing right, but I don't know. It's like a felt tip. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not my favorite. Mm. So it just kind of like, it doesn't quite work properly when I put it on. Probably because I have hair. Maybe it's for somebody that doesn't have any hairs to make this hairs with this. Yeah, maybe that's that's suitable. Wait, let's try. But it's kind of, it's even that, it's just, it's just, it's, no. You see? No. What is this? Okay, I don't like this whatsoever so what i'm gonna do uh i am gonna try to fix this take this thing off and then just do my own eyebrows the way i usually do them all right now we have good brows <laughs> good brows all right so i'm gonna leave in the description down below all the products that i've used on my face today in case of your curious but let's move on let's move on to this i'm really excited about this palette it has some really pretty colors in there haven't opened it yet to actually see it but i, I can see it on the back you know so let's see oh. i'm like so bad at opening things it's just like it's just brushes in here so happy i was able to wash all my brushes They're all clean ready to go ready to rock and roll oh. okay so we're gonna go first things first we're gonna go with you know what paints hands right there so let's start with that one first like my base you know What shows have you guys watched lately? My husband and I, we are big, amazing race fans. So, the amazing race. So, what we did, we started watching back from like all seasons. We looked at one, what was it, season 12, I believe. And like, we watched it all season 12 in two days. Like, we're binge watching that page, okay? And now, we decided because that is done we decided to go back from the beginning we decided to go to all the way amazing race season one <laughs> i am so excited i love that show actually i think i've seen all the seasons but i think i forgot most of them so uh, i'm excited to start it all over it is so funny to see how it used to be back then. So funny, especially if you look at makeup, if you look at clothing wise, so funny. Okay. Okay, so this is really nice transition color. I'm liking it a lot right now. And um, it's really buttery, it's really nice. It does have a little bit of a kick in the pan. So, just so you know, but I don't have any fallouts on my face. So that's a good thing, you know. I'm gonna go with seaweed. Or 
right here. I'm just going to put it right, right there. It's really pigmented. Whoa. Now I'm thinking, should I cut my crease? Should I cut my crease or not? Should I just leave it like that? Uh, what do you guys think? Should I? Should I? I think, I think I'm going to cut it just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. So with the same brush that I used to cut my crease with, I'm gonna go in Siren right here. And then I'm thinking to go in with Treasure right here. in the middle and then I'm going to go back to sirens mm -hmm. I, I couldn't think that mm -hmm. All right, so I like how that looks right now. Now, let me see. Hmm. What should I put in that in a corner? Should I go with sea foam or sand dollar? I'm going to go with sea foam. Pink sand dollar right here. I'm just going to go above. I want to do something with this um, white eyeshadow base. I got it just so I can play with a little bit here and there, not to use it as an eyeshadow. I wanted to play with and use it as an eye. So I'm going to get a brush like this. Hope it's going to work. So I'm going to go. To define it, come on. Mm, nope, not working how I was expecting it. So I'm just gonna try to do the same thing I did on this side to the other eye, but I mean. Uh, it's working something. Not to what I was thinking, what I was expecting, but. I'm gonna take Under the Sea and go over that area where I just applied that um, white base okay that's a beautiful color okay so that is good now let's see i'm gonna try to do something under my eye i'm thinking green let's go with that dark green okay now let's go and try this the white pencil from mix and I'm gonna put this one in my waterline. Perfect. Can open it. Jeez. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Well, that was a workout. My only workout for today. <laughs> okay, let's do that. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to do a little bit of an eyeliner. I'm going to go with 
glitter liner from private society and this is in brown i feel like this look needs some lashes you guys <laughs> and if you know anything about me i'm not the type of lash person type gal i only been successful once out of my 30 attempts <laughs> so here we go i think i'm gonna go and try some you know um and just attach some today so i have these from exo beauty and also a lash adhesive that i ordered a while back and i never ever tried them but uh let's do that let's try them today this is how it looks with lashes on um these lashes are okay i had a hard time putting them on but this thing there this one is a little more weird than this one i don't know why that asked me um the lashes are nice they're more of a natural on the natural side the way they look um i don't know do you like it i don't know what to say i mean i mean the whole look is kind of crazy but you know let's put this shane um dawson and jeffree star lipstick in i gotta go so the lip can be a little bit on the softer side since the eyes are so bold. Okay, so let's talk about this palette, okay? There's some things in this palette that I do like, some things that I don't like. I did have some problems with the shimmers. This color is a really beautiful color, but if you lay it down like that you can't see much with your finger and it's hard to apply even with the brush a little bit so on my skin it doesn't look much i mean you can't see much right the but it has a little bit of surprising effect because when you apply it you think it's gonna be a really uh chunky matte and it's not it's more like a sheer one and it has some purple reflex in it um this one topless let's see Oh, this one it looks nice it's a really nice color but they're very buttery i don't know it's like it's nice but it's not nice i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but it's it's like it's a really buttery creamy um complexion and sometimes i like it to have it a little bit more dustier uh, then creamier because creamier is a little sometimes it's a little harder to put it down on your lid you know so let's see i have that one we already see pink sandals let's see ursula how is this one because this one is the other one that i haven't used oh ursula is really nice too but again very very creamy um so that is the look i only i haven't used these two or slow or topless but everything else in here i have used well i haven't used sand dollar let's use that a little bit under my eyes but they are okay i mean they're 25 bucks they're okay I would not say they impressed me in any shape or form. Um, I was expecting a little bit more for the price, but I mean, it's an okay, uh, it's an okay one. I was able to pull off this look. I don't know how, I'm not sure how wearable this look is, but it's a really nice one. I mean, I am glad I got out of my comfort zone and got what this, uh, combination of colors which i usually don't do much but it looks really nice all about the other products are really nice i love the foundation i love the powder i am um, not a big fan of this thing we'll see how i'm gonna have to test it more to see how it's gonna work not not a huge fan the toner from elf it's really nice i like it I like the feeling on on my skin and then um oh let's not forget this this it's flop i don't like it i'm probably gonna try to 
try to go with it again and see if I can use something different, but I really not like this one. Um, and then the white eyeliner that I put in my water um, line, it's really pretty. It looks really good, you know, so uh, pretty much that is it. <laughs> I hope you really like this look. I hope you really like this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye.